meet everyone. I'm Lady Silver Sage of witchcraftandmore.com and I'm also the headmistress of the Academy of International Witchcrafting and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Witch Quickie, whatever day it is that you watch it, that I make it. <laughs> I'm just really happy that you're here. For those of you who are newly subscribed to my channel, thank you. <laughs> and for those of you who are still there, thank you. And I hope you guys are getting a lot out of it. Um, for those of you who have not yet subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. Because I would get something out of it, of course. <laughs> and you would get something out of it too, I do believe. Even if it's only just a smile and something that makes you feel good. Okay, I think that that's really, really important. So please do go ahead and um, subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you, you click on the little bell icon next to it. And um, there's a little sign that I think it says all and uh, personal or something like that. I don't know. But ooh, make sure that you hit um, the all button. Okay, where the little bell is. I'm hot. <laughs> I think it's just because I'm nervous. I have a lot of stuff going on right now and I'm not complaining. Um, I just, whoo, sometimes it, it gets a mite much, you know, but it's all good and I hope that you are doing well. Okay, let's see. Today, what we're doing, wait, 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 you guys. Oh, happy second day of September. We made it. Yes. This. Okay. You guys check this out. September is my most favorite month. Oh my gosh. I love September. It's absolutely wonderful. My Henry loves September and um, I think Pumpkin does too. <laughs> oh, by the way, Pumpkin is outside right now in the back. <laughs> the neighbor's chickens have gotten out and yeah they're running all around the place and pumpkin is just laying there on her little blanket watching them so oh my gosh i wish that i could get um a little clip of that for you to see maybe i can find one um, but it's just absolutely amazing how all of the birds and the animals and everything that come here all get along. I think it has to do with the magical spell that I have put on this whole entire um, property where we live and also on this house. So maybe that's it. I sure hope so. Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> today what we're going to be doing is I've gone out there to my garden and I've just checked out to see what's left over, what's in bloom. I've got some um, lavender. No? In German it's called lavendel. I've got some of that. We're going to be making a, um, a bouquet of just random um, things from the garden because a lot of people think that oh when you're making a bouquet you can only have like flowers and things from the um, florist that's not true you can use spices and herbs or herbs or kräuter if you're German <laughs> like this I've got some rosemary here look at that beautiful fresh rosemary and and by the way I just went out and clipped these oh about 10 minutes ago well yeah about 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago i've got some cedar look at that beautiful color yes 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 i can use some of that oh you guys this smells great now these i'm not sure what this is these are some of the um leaves from a bush that we've got out there but i think that can look really good now i've got something here that is just so for me, very, so, so very, very, so <laughs> magical. Look at this. This is ivy and it has started turning red. Isn't that beautiful? And I feel like we could use this for sure in our, um, in our herbal bouquet. Now you guys, oh, look, 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 look. I've got wild evening primrose growing back there. 
And these are some that were just left over. And here's some little seed pods on there. Look at that. See, so I can dry them and use them for next year to just and, and put a spell on them and then bloop, they're everywhere. <laughs> With that there and these are some of the sunflowers that I have left these are the ones that I just really wanted um, somehow they migrated to my garden no I did not plant them nobody else did I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos so yeah I really really wanted this these and um, I have a whole bunch of them back there they started growing in the blackberry and raspberry bushes. That's pretty cool. We're gonna use these puppets. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it's beautiful. Wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta get this out of here. Look at this, you guys, look at that. It's gorgeous, look at the color on that. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? don't know what it is but we're using that oh yeah and this here is called I looked it up in Google wait here's some more of that stuff we'll put that there it's called dog bane and I love how it looks oh wait no please excuse me I got that mixed up I've got dog bane down here where did it go Ooh, there it is no I got dog bane in here, trust me. But this is mugwort. And yeah, end of summer mugwort. I'm putting this in there. Oh, hell yeah. And we got some oregano going off up in here. We got a whole bunch of stuff going in here. Oh yeah, oregano. You can just smell it. Oh wait, you guys, I found it. Here is the dog bane. Look at that. Look at those little tiny flowers there. I'm trying not to shake. Can you see the flowers there? And those beautiful leaves. That is dog bane. We're using that and we have a lot, a lot, a lot of peppermint. Ooh. <laughs> look at all these wonderful herbs and herbs and coriander and oh look at the peppermint flowers oh they smell so good you guys <laughs> and i've got this is more peppermint whoops i dropped my oregano don't drop your oregano i gotta put these over here oh my gosh here's some more oregano you guys i just love oregano you probably didn't know that um yeah this is some regular ivy <laughs> it was growing next to these beautiful red ones i thought i'd snag a little bit of that some more oregano i call it reg reg oregano isn't that pretty <laughs> here's some more peppermint and here you guys check this out whoops what's this what are you wait a minute oh that's reggie oregano reg reg I got some roses. Whoa, it's stuck in the basket. I got some roses. Now these are for um, a client who will be here tomorrow. And I'm using some of this for the client tomorrow. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> Spider! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm using this because she wants a smudge stick made. And I'm going to use some of these white petals from these roses too. Yeah, and some of this other stuff I'm going to use in there as well. There's another beautiful red rose from my garden. Look at that. Oh, wow. I just, oh, and they, they, they have a lovely scent. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this down here on the ground because like I said, that's for my client that's coming. Now, what we're going to do, got everything laid out here as you can see. Now, we're just going to start with this beautiful stuff. Wait a minute. Is it coming out? I want to make sure that it's going to go to hold for a while. Got our pot here. I just love this little pot. 
get this. Let's see. Is this going to be too tall? Nope. That's going to be good. Don't want to get the leaves down in there. Okay. Got that. We're going to put some oregano in here. Yep. 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 Got the dog's bane in here. Definitely putting this beautiful branch in here. Now, even though you might not know what all of these are, believe me, each one of these have a magical purpose. And you can decide for yourself what you want to use this for, which magical purpose you would like to use this for. You see, and don't throw away the leaves because you can dry them and you can make a potpourri or you can make a burning incense as well. That's pretty small. Let's take this one. Oh, and this one looks just right for our bouquet. Yeah. And I thought I had some um, lemon balm. Maybe I didn't get the lemon balm. Oh, I just love these little evening primrose flowers. Let's take some of those. We're going to put these here like this. Just kind of work them in there. And our sunflowers, we're going to turn them this way. Actually, I'm going to put something else there because we want to kind of layer them. Look at that. This is going to go over here like this right and we're going to take some of this look at that so far isn't it beautiful and now we are going to take some of the rosemary let's take some of these off first of all and hmm what else do i want oh 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 we want to get some of our mugworts it's always good to have mugwort in the house because it helps to ward against evil that can be brought in from the outside you know people that come to visit your home they have all kinds of astral residue on them and they might not even know it and um yeah so it's good to have a a bouquet of these different herbs or herbs or kräuter if you're german <laughs> And um, just have it sitting by the front door, or you could even have it sitting um, in the kitchen because most people, when they come to visit somebody, they gather in the kitchen because normally that's the heart of the home. <laughs> so, yeah, let's put a few more of these beautiful mint flowers in here. Look at that, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? And I want to put this in here too. Like this. And these I got because I'm going to use them to make the um, the smoke bundle, or the sage bundle as most people call it. Now, we're going to have to put some lavender buds in here, of course because that's important. Now we're going to take our scissors, which by the way, I love these scissors. My Henry got these for me. Um, they're really sharp, <laughs> really good. But um, I found out that if you get your finger cut in there, right here, it hurts. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so going to put these in here just like this. There we go. Stick this one over here to make sure that it stands out and can be seen. And look at this. Look at this, you guys. And these are just all leftover herbs or herbs or flowers from out in my garden. And you guys can do that too. And if you don't have a garden, it's okay. Don't worry. You can just walk along a mm, a street that's not so crowded. Maybe near a park or something like that. Or if you're walking down um, an alley, um, 
of a, of a place where there's different types of flowers or you know herbs growing out there and you can take one or two of them as long as you don't get in trouble and be sure to ask first be sure to ask first that's very very important um, I mean ask the actual um, plant first and if you want to you could ask somebody you know ring their doorbell and ask them you know and maybe who knows they'll just say yeah <laughs> no problem <laughs> but um back to the magical side of this i feel like it's really great to have something like this in your home because like i said a lot of negativity can be brought in from outside through people who come to your home or when you leave to go somewhere and you come back in your home. It can also be brought in through, um, what do you call, mobile telephones, uh, televisions, things like that. Um, just all kinds of electronics and things. Okay, and also somebody who might not like you so much, you know, they might um, send you ill intentions. And it's things like this that can deflect those ill intentions. So make sure that you get outside in nature, go for a walk somewhere in the country if you can. If you cannot, go to a park, walk down a street that has a lot of nice flowers on it, um, an alley where there's n lots of nice flowers in different, um, as people would call them, weeds growing. But you see, the thing is, most people think, oh, that's just a weed. Um, let's get rid of it. Well, it's not. Okay, because it can help you in some way. Okay, so just if you can, take it home with you, clean it, and then just use it for your own purposes. Or you can use it to help somebody else too. It just depends on what you need at that moment because Mother Nature is always here, always around us, and she is ready and able to help us with whatever we need. We just sometimes need to ask and then the picture will actually come into our minds. That's called intuition. Okay, so think about this next time you're going out for a walk. Um, and be, be sure to thank. Be sure to thank the plant. Okay, or the people. <laughs> Either way. Um, yeah, that's what I've got for you today. But I would like to say a few more things. I thought I would put it at the end this time. Um, we do have the Academy of International Witchcrafting and, you know, it's turned out to be something really wonderful because I, I didn't realize there are so many people who want to know so much about witchcrafting, okay? And a lot of them are, are too afraid to actually do anything about it, but I've had quite a few students, thankfully, come to me and say, hey, I would like to learn more about this. And yes, of course, I accommodate them however I can because I love to help people and animals and Mother Earth and I want to be able to teach them um, how to use these powers that everybody has, but they're just laying dormant inside of, of each one of us that are not using these powers. And when we start using these powers, life becomes so magical. You just wouldn't believe it and you feel so good and you have so many wonderful good days versus these uh, I don't feel good type days you see what I'm saying because you can use your magic to help yourself and others so please if you're interested if you have just even a tiny bit of interest um, send me a short message ask for an information ledger and then I will send that to you and then after that you can decide if you want to join the Academy of International Witchcrafting. Um, this would be the Witchling course. Uh, it's for 18s and older. And um, the thing is, I've made the price very, very low. Okay, I've made it a donation of $50. That's it. As you can see, I'm not getting a lot out of that. Okay, I just, whatever money that comes from that, I use it um, for my donations and I use it to put back into the academy. And I'll take a little tiny bit for myself, maybe to buy some different oils or something that I need to make body butters or lip butters or crystals that I need to uh, 
use to make rings and different types of jewelry, <laughs> things like that. So please um, go ahead and yeah, contact me. We'd love to have you. We'd love to be there to help you on your path through um, witchcrafting and magic. It would be great. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say for now, and I wish you guys the brightest of magical blessings, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and make somebody smile today, okay? Oh, and also, it would make me smile if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, you guys.